Hello everyone. This is a demo to show you how to do your uh, uh, programming questions in any test in OP345. Um, the very first thing that you do when you come to lab computers is to open Seneca My Apps and log into it. Then uh, go to search apps, type Notepad++ and launch it. So Notepad++ will run. Let's set it aside. Then immediately after you run Notepad++, save the file under anything CPP. So you click on Notepad, there you go. Um, you you save it with as with a new name, and call it uh, say prg.cpp. This gives you syntax highlighting. So this is the very first thing you need to do. After doing this, open up Microsoft Edge. Remember, the only two applications that are allowed to be open on your lab computers for test are Microsoft Edge and Notepad++. If you use Google Chrome or Firefox to run, as soon as the, st the, the test begins, a minute after the test, they're all going to be closed. The only applications that are allowed to be open are Microsoft Edge and Notepad++. Then close the My Apps application and open up uh, the uh, Seneca site. Log into it. Log into your courses. In this case it's OOP345. I'm going to go to student preview so you can see what it's going to look like for the student preview. In this case, we are doing the final test demo. So I'm going to expand the final test, click on programming demo test, and I'm going to start the attempt. Now you put your uh, test at left side, bring your uh, programming at right side, and read the question very carefully. Most of the questions that I give you, some of the questions, most of the questions I give you, gives you something to start with. So when I tell you, assume that the code provided is fully implemented, it does not need additional implementation, it means whatever you see over here, you need to assume that it actually works. Then you can copy the code. You don't need to implement parts that you see over here and paste it into your uh, notepad plus plus. I'm going to make it a little smaller so we can see. <clears throat> then read the questions one by one. So implement rule of five to ensure container class is non copyable but movable. So immediately what I'm going to do in here, non copyable is an easy thing. So immediately in here, I'm going to write the uh, co um, copy constructor, so container. And in here, I'm going to go const container reference and I'm going to set it to delete. As soon as you do that, you copy the whole thing and you come back to the editor. Each question that is done and you think you're at a set certain stage of um, completing your test, uh, what you do is uh, that you start copying the code back into the uh, to the file. So you click on the three dots, you click on code snippet, it is extremely important to do those so, and then you control V back in here and you have the code that you have for that one implemented and added. And then as you go you can add your implementations to this as you are going. So the next one I'm, I'm working in here is uh, uh, say I want to make sure that it's not going to be uh, copied. It's not going to be a assi copy assigned, so I'm going to go auto operator equal const container reference void and um, in here I'm going to say equals to delete. So this is the second thing I have. I copy it again. Copy and I'm going to paste it in here. Don't leave the information to 
to copy at the end especially when I announce you that it's five minutes to the end of the test make sure you copy everything so you don't lose if it auto submits so as soon as you're done with this um, you do your implementations um, say I want to add uh, the next one that is um, operator overload over here I'm gonna now create a template type name type and I'm gonna have std o stream reference operator left shift and std o stream reference OSDR and at the right side I have a constant container reference C please notice that every single thing that I write over here actually uh, this is supposed to be uh, like this so I'm going to go control X so auto And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, as you notice, when you actually uh, use uh, um, when you use um, the correct name with an extension CPP, it actually gives you some help. So it makes your uh, program much more clear and, and understandable. So now I have this one. I'm going to simply say return OSDR. Um, uh, re uh, return C dot uh, display and pass the OSDR to it and I'm done so now that I'm done I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna come right down over here and paste it so as you see one by one it's being pasted to the code snippet and now let's say I'm done and everything is finished I click on submit and I'm done and the test is over so you have to do this for every single thing that you have uh, every single test that you have programming in um, remember very important is to make sure that you only use Microsoft Edge and Notepad++ any other application will be closed automatically two minutes after the test starts extremely important to do so have a beautiful day and I hope you get uh, an amazing mark in your test